So this is a game against a team that I recently played like when this video comes out and it got pretty hilarious in it. So that will come in the future, but there's going to be a funny clip out of that one involving uh, their goalie. And this is the game I think that spawned it all, but I didn't really see what happened in it. It gets a bit chippy in here and my stars team tends to get on people's nerves a lot. So it's we're not one of the loved teams to play against just because my team plays really hard they're pretty like active with their sticks they might just like skate like 110 into people so i totally get why people don't want to play against them all the time in the past we've absolutely destroyed this team other times it's been a very close game so it's totally up in the air and how this one will go and for gear this is me testing out that optic 3 set that i got to borrow from brian's uh, so lock review is already out catching 11 pad review will be coming shortly i'm working on that as we speak and this is another really bad example of me forgetting a jersey playing and it happened to me like five times this year so it's been pretty bad i end up hanging them up and then i am either in a rush or i just pack everything and just totally forget by the time i get to the rink so whoops there and you want to support the channel and you need a base layer and a protective kind of supportive base layer that helps protect your growing as well as your hips check out the cortec this is the pro 1.0 pants so this one is not quite as restrictive and this is kind of tight right here in this x pattern you might have seen these as under armor before or bauer for the hockey specific ones there's also the core 3.0 which is a lot stiffer as you can see really helps protect my growing and keeping it kind of in place and make sure it doesn't overstretch itself there's a discount code and you click the link in the description use that discount code to get a discount off help support myself as well as get you some pretty awesome base layer pants that really do help with injury prevention and help stabilize your core while playing otherwise if you want to support the channel without buying anything check out links in the description to patreon buy me a coffee everything through there comes again back into the channel so i can make more content and doing real reviews <laughs>
so like I mentioned, there was a couple stupid things that happened in this game that you don't really want to see, and it gets a little out of hand, and it happened again in the next game with these two teams too. So that's not always the best thing. As for the game and everything, like we got a bunch of goals pretty early on, and then they kind of clawed back a bit. I didn't play very good in this. I'll just be totally upfront about that. A uh, bunch of the goals I just sucked at. Like one goes under my pad I should have had, and I just wasn't great overall. There was some pretty high danger chances, but I should stop some pucks. I'm not blaming the gear here at all or anything. It's just, I just didn't really have it in this game and it didn't feel all that great and everything. And this gear is new, like I'm testing stuff out. There is something that happened in this game where you'll see it and I'll call it out in the review of that specific piece, but I'm just leaving that as a tease for that. For the first goal, player goes down into the corner. I try to go into kind of a post coverage RVH thing here, but I miss the post. Passes out in front to a guy who gets a really quick shot off, puts it right in the corner. Nice positioning. I think if I actually RVH properly here and got either the toe or my skate on the post here, I might have stopped this because you can see when I make the move here, I push off or I try to kind of push out and I can't because I just don't hit the spot right. So I never really got in the right position and he slides by me and I don't have a far enough leg and I'm not flexible enough to get my leg all the way out there. Don't react fast enough couple things I could have done differently here like pushing out towards a shot but I was kind of playing defensive here and it just didn't help out whatsoever and that guy put a nice position on there but overall it was a very bad save by me next goal I have no idea why I bit on this shot the guy ha had zero danger from where he was and yet for some reason I think he gets around my D and that's going to be a shot and I go down for some reason and really it's just a pass back door well not even fully back door but just to a guy wide open and I'm just all out of sorts Nowhere near on this one. I can't go down on this. I don't know, again, why I bit on this play whatsoever. And I should have just pushed into the actual pass. This is a good play by the guy with the puck initially who doesn't get around my D, but he angles himself to get more space for the other player. What he does is goes away from the net and kind of towards the boards. So he makes that angle where this pass comes from. He kind of sweeps it around my D. A pretty like solid angle here. So when the guy comes to pick it up behind my D, it's like a really good position for him. And he is open and has a really good angle to the net. Even if I stood up here, this is a far range of me having to go cross crease. And there's no way I'm making that because it's just I need to be way more mobile and move on this one. So big mistake on my part, playing this one all wrong and really Really needs to stay up and actually move across crease here. The third goal is a bad giveaway, but also a bad goal. I'm 99% sure this guy who shoots this totally fans on the shot and then it goes under my pad. I'm pretty sure he was trying to go high glove or glove side somewhere and him fanning on it puts it under my stretched out leg. Generally, I think if this is going low and you can kind of read based off people's eyes and how they like shoot, you can see where the puck is generally going. And this one, I'm pretty sure I read high all the way. Suck up my leg and glove to try to reach out as far as possible and it squeaks under my pad. Next Next one is an awful rebound through traffic. I just blocked this one. They do a pretty good job of tipping pucks up front. And I think the guy in front actually does get a piece of this. Hits my pad. Very nice rebound to a guy who shoots and is actually missing the net, unfortunately. I try to stop it because I it's a reaction. It goes between my arm and my body and I tip it in to the net, which is really disappointing here. And I just... It was an awful play. Very bad rebound. I think there was a tip, which makes me feel a little bit better on that. Puck going wide. I react to it, put it in. Never a great thing. Overall, my team managed to hold on. I had a ton of goal support, so that really, really helps for that. So that was a good thing. And we ended up getting a win out of it, but it wasn't necessarily a pretty game overall. And I was definitely not happy with how I played in this one either. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.